Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint and today we're trying out a new um, should we call it a discovery mode? Yes, let's call it that because that's a good seems seems like as good a name as any. What's this car? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to steal it anyway. Um, so what we've got today is um, instead of instead of the hunters having the normal circles or position indicators or any of that sort of shenaniganery to tell them to help them find me. Instead, we've implemented a new thing where whenever a, an AI car spawns in, it will be the colour of the nearest player to it. So as you can see, all of the cars around me at the moment are blue, because blue is my colour. Um, their secondary colour on the cars, because sometimes you get two-tone cars, like the one I'm in, uh, the secondary colour will be the second closest player. So this means that around Tristan there's going to be loads and loads of purple cars around uh, Pete there's going to be loads of dark green cars around Mark there's going to be loads of light green cars um, and this is going to and so at the moment they don't have any idea where I am except that they if, if they see but they have to work it out basically from the colors so what I expect them to do if they if they've worked out how the game mode works already which they might have done is to basically scatter to the four winds across the city and then they're going to keep an eye out for any blue cars. And if they see a blue car, then they know they've got relatively close to me. Um, because the cars that spawn near me, like like this one, for example, will will drive off merrily like that. And if they reach, if they find it, get to another player before they despawn, they'll they'll keep going. And then the other players will see a, a blue car, and they'll go, "Oh, hey, we must be close to Lawrence." So that's how this is going to work. That's how they're supposed to be able to find me. And of course, I get a bit of a warning when I say, "Okay, so that one's got some green and blue." So I know that, um, and that's that's pale green and blue. So that means I know that um, Mark is vaguely nearby. Let's take that Oracle because at least it's I'll be able to take checkpoints in it. Um, it's obviously in my colour because <laughs> of course it is. Uh, but now we're getting back to the um, blue and light blue, and that means I know that Max is the nearest hunter to me. So it's it's all a bit weird. And it's, bit, it's going to do funny things to our brains trying to work out how to use, how to use it. They also know where the um, oh, there's some purple sit on that car. So Tristan is vaguely nearby, but not very nearby. Otherwise, it would be a solid purple car. They also know where the checkpoints are, so they can um, they camp if they want. They can go and guard a checkpoint, um, and then they'll know when I'm getting near because they'll start to see blue cars driving towards them. So my hope is that this is just going to look absolutely ridiculous on um, in all of the videos because there'll be brightly coloured cars all over the place. Oh, uh, oh ooh, that one over there, that, that one's got primary colour, green as its main colour. So I think that means that Mark is down that way towards the checkpoint, which makes sense because he's probably guarding the checkpoint. Oh, and that purple one behind me means Tristan's fairly nearby. But you see, so you can use a little bit of logic. You can, you can see which direction the cars of those colours are coming from in order to work out, sort of, where the player of that colour must be. Oh, Max seems to be getting his colour car colour changed. That's a bit of a glitch. So they're seeing lots of blue cars coming down this road. So they reckon, so they are, have worked out prob correctly that I'm probably somewhere up this road. Tristan has come to investigate this blue car. Possibly because it's not the same blue and something else as other cars. I don't know. Don't. And he's doing the identifying the uh, my player model thing now, I suspect. But it's a red light at the moment, so I'm going to sit here for a bit. I guess I'll go around him then. I consider myself... I think I'm going to call myself... An, that was a red light, I just ran. Damn it. Okay, I've given myself away by running a red light, I suspect. At least if Tristan's paying attention. Yeah, there's a green car coming up behind me as well now, so I think I'm probably in trouble. That was an incredibly good tackle from him there. I'm impressed. A little bit of help turning around there from Tristan. That's good. Let's get out of here and try and find a car that... So, here's a thing I hadn't thought about. Because of the secondary colour thing... I mean, obviously, I'm always going to have a blue car. Because if I steal... If I steal a... Well, not always, but... There's a very high chance that when I steal a car... When I find a car to steal... When I find myself safe enough to want to steal a car, rather... It's probably going to be blue because it's going to have been spawned in with me as the nearest player. So I'm almost always going to be in a blue car unless I try really hard to get a different one. Oh, ah, he, there, there we go. <laughs> um, which is probably worth doing, to be honest. It's probably worth me trying to tr trying to pick up a different coloured car. However, it's not going to just happen. I'm going to have to put quite a lot of effort into it. 
Um, so, a needle pulling thread. Uh, so a tree. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck on a parking meter. Have they all gone the wrong way? No. Well, they got confused enough while I was uh, messing around with that parking meter that they didn't actually come in and kill me. So that's good. Got that going for me. <laughs> but Tristan is now back on my tail once again. So it is, as usual, a chase. Oh, there we go. I almost made it around that corner. I need to learn to use the handbrake a bit better when I'm trying to um, trying to get around tight corners. Because I just don't, basically. There's lots of green cars here. That must be marks around. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, but I kind of like it because um, I can, because it, it means I can use it to try to work out where the hunters are to an extent. If I see co colourful cars, then it means I know they're around. So it's unlike the uh, the circles. Oh, that was bad. That was worse. Unlike the circles and the um, it, which only work for the hunters, this works just as well for me as it does for them. So I get the clues as well, which is um, which is rather nice. This wasn't quite where I was intending to go just then, but never mind. I don't want no, I don't want to go in the storm drain, I'm not going over that jump. I might have lost him though. Let's go a bit ooh, let's go a bit further and then drop off. That was definitely Mark who just went past there. And didn't accost me. Tristan has followed me off though, which is a shame. I was hoping I'd have lost him through that um, that little manoeuvre there. It for, it's a good thing that the hunters have their um colourful headlights, that's all I have to say. Because without that, I would never be able to... What was that, Lawrence? Learn to drive. Jeez. Um, yeah, without their colourful headlights, I'd never be able to identify them. Because uh, all the... They're, yeah, the cars all look the same now. There's, there's a lot less a lot less variety in the in the, in the colour palette, shall we say. Oh, now we've got... Um, now it's night, night, night time is happening, so it's going to be even harder to identify... Um, Right, I'm doing an identify cars by colour. Right, I'm doing a highway chase against a winter. This is a bad idea because it's a much faster car than I am than I than mine. I should have gone over the jump as I often do. Uh, let's cut across to the other side of the road here. Yes, they have followed me. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Dodge the oncoming traffic. I was hoping for an alternative way to get off that. Why? I don't know why Max's car is um, is flickering between his blue and my blue. I don't know if that's a bug on. Well, what what that's a bug in, but it does mean I get slightly surprised when a when a dark blue car attacks me. So his car is supposed to be the colour of my roof, that that pale paler blue. That's his colour. Um, but, ah, a rooftop moment there. But he do, he does have the underglow though, so I can sort of at least identify him through that. I'm nowhere near the. Um, the checkpoint I want to be near, and their cars are getting so smashed up now from this, all this chasing um, that they've, they've lost the headlights. The, the underglow is still working, which I suppose makes sense. You wouldn't expect the underglow to break from, a, from various head-on collisions, uh, but ooh, that makes it harder for me to spot them. Did just make it around that corner. Let's go in. Yeah, no. Ah, I don't know why I came up here. I I know that I'm terrible at this bit. Of, for some reason, this this pedestrian area of the map always gives me difficulties. Um, can I turn around? There's not very much of this car left. Uh, <laughs> I've been windsored a few too many times. Right, let's try turning around in here. Um, oh, benches, benches everywhere. Right, so that's not been as quick a turn around as I was hoping for. But hopefully... Oh, they're still with me. Of course they're still with me. I haven't gone anything like fast enough or far enough or wiggly enough for them to, to lose them yet. There's Tristan. <laughs> even even when there's lots of other purple cars around, somehow the Windsor still stands out because it's just an enormous brick. There we go, around the corner there. There's one of the hunters apparently waiting for me, but in his sleep. Oh, I can't... I, my car is not turning like a... like a... like a not mashed up car would. I'm starting to have trouble driving this thing. I need to I need to replace it, but I can't because I'm being bullied by all the hunters. <laughs> uh, I just need them to, I just need to lose them somehow. But that's a lot easier said than done. Uh, because they've all got 
Well, they've all got cars that are, their cars are probably about as fast as mine. There's sort of re reasonably similar speeds, for, similar specs for all of them because they're all coupes. Apart from the Windsor, which is um, faster but slidier and heavier than than the, than the others. I don't know where to go to get away. There's just I'm 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 just trying to go go fast at the moment. This is sort of the old rabbit in the headlights thing, um, where you just just try and run away from the thing that's trying to attack you and kill you, rather than dodging off to the side that might actually get free you from it. Um, oh, I've got a bit of distance on them, because I think, I think two of them crashed into each other, which has helped quite a lot. Um, to an extent, in order to follow me, they just need to go where the um, where the blue cars are coming from. Um, which is unfortunate, but I don't, I don't know, I might be able to use it. So. What's in here? Problems are in here. Let's go this way then. I don't know. This is a road. That's a good sign. I think I'm going to call this car spent. And I'm going to run away on foot like that. And hide in a bush. And wait for things to calm down a little bit. And then I shall get another blue car, no doubt. Look at all those blue cars down there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so I've got away from them at least, which is a good, which is an excellent start. Now, if I could, I would like to get, as I was saying earlier, I would like to get a car that isn't blue. But to do that requires me to get close, get reasonably close to the hunters, and change car into one that's that spawned in closer to them than it did to me. That is going to be difficult. Now, are all the cars around here... No, there's a green car coming from over there. Hmm. Let's hop over this wall. That's a sports car. I can't have that. So I'm getting to be even fussier about cars than normal. Because not only do I want one that's not my colour... Sorry, not only do I want one that's not a sports car, I ideally want one that isn't my colour either. That's going to be really difficult. I wonder if it's a coincidence that those um, boxes there match the colour of the car next to it. It seems like it's probably a coincidence. Okay, around here the cars are all blue. So that means, that makes me feel relatively safe, but it's also somewhat uninspired. I mean, yeah, they've got blue, they've got purple roofs, sure, but they're basically blue cars. Ow, didn't mean to do that. That one's got a green roof. Let's take this blurple car here <clears throat> as a start, for a start. Now, it also occurs to me that <clears throat> if I maybe I should stick with a blue car actually, because if I change into a um, if I change into a different coloured car, what did I pick? Is this an Oracle again? Yes, it is. For goodness sake, Lawrence. If I change into a car that isn't blue, and I turn up and that and I turn up somewhere where there's lots of cars that are, so if I get in a green car and then I get close to Tristan when there's generally other yeah cause I, uh, there's a purple car there I could, I could grab that there's a green car there I could grab that um, but if I, if I have a purple car and then I get close to, too close to Mark and Tristan's miles away then they'll know that it's me because it'll be the one car that sticks out like a sore thumb being a completely different colour so that's a risk there um, and I don't like risks that's a Mark there and well, I don't know I, like, I quite like Mark he seems like a nice guy but <laughs> he is also trying to kill me so you yeah, know can't have everything now there are quite yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of blue cars around here because I'm here. Go figure. Uh, so that's going to be making the hunters suspicious. I'm going to take the wrong turn, wrong lane here, but never mind. Here I'm going to turn left. So Tristan shouldn't be too surprised to see a blue purple car, which I'm going to continue to call blurple because it amuses me. Um, but if Mar, if if anyone else sees a blurple car then they'll get a bit suspicious about it because they would and if if they, they wouldn't expect a car to spawn in in that color unless Tristan was really nearby so yeah there's a lot of having the second secondary color on the cars is makes it actually quite a bit harder for me i hadn't thought of that when i suggested it <laughs> i suppose the alternative is for me to steal a car that is just plain blue 
but it tends to be it seems to be that the better cars have the two-tone paint jobs so that means if I want to have a good car it has to be two colors if I want a bad car then I, or if I'm prepared to put up with a bad car then it could be a different color Ooh, maybe if I go in on foot that might be a safer way to do this let's see if we can do that because then I don't have to be in a car at all <laughs> and my skin doesn't go blue so it's or purple or anything like that so yeah that might be a better way to do it there's a car doing funny things over there I think that's probably a hunter I don't like this. I think he's going to outshoot me. Ah! Uh, oh, he did. Yes, I didn't duck quickly enough. Grr. <laughs> ah. It's it's there's two full blue cars behind them. I shot a few cars. Because he can change uh, cars, so if he swaps into a uh, purple and green car, for example, then he's not in a blue yeah. car anymore. So. so if you see a car that is blue, or like cars spawn around that is blue, but one that has, does not have your color, then you know. It's, I don't know. So he is on the west side of the golf course, I think, because there is a, a bump on top. Yeah, I'm following a car that's just gone through the checkpoint. He either didn't take it or is it's not here. You? Max, that's you, right? That's the one. Okay. Following oh. you? Yeah, you're following me. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, him. That's him. Uh, sure? Round golf course, anti clockwise, by life invader now. Continuing round anti clockwise. Passing low car parts. Still heading east past low car marks. Can we pass this trip? Uh, blue car with a white stripe. I didn't actually get a. Uh, it's a generic white guy, as far as I remember, for the uh, skin. Uh, past shopping centre south. And uh, west from shopping centre tunnel. Yeah, he was done. Uh, approaching five Thanks. ways. That's the one. Ah, uh, sorry. Five ways? Uh, it's a junction in uh, west of shopping centre that has five roads coming out of it. Uh, I've lost him. He's around here somewhere. Blue car with white stripe. Uh, sort of coupe type car. Where was he heading? Uh, it was like an R. Here he is, uh, low car box. Heading east. Uh, what kind of car? A coupe car? Uh, Oracle. Oracle, yeah. Oracle. Yeah. Oracle, okay. I think it's, it's always going to be a little bit like. <laughs> right, yeah. Even if it's not. Uh, but heading past shopping centre again now, across the north side. Oh no, sorry. Um, south past the west side of shopping centre now. Going through the tunnel this time. Keep on calling it. Uh, east to there, straight east out of it. Abandoned cars there. Still heading east. Uh, uh, approaching the end, uh, where it curves round to the left, he's going that way, gone through some bushes, onto the highway, uh, wrong side of the highway, heading north. He's it rolled it. Uh, he is going onto the wrong side of the highway, heading, oh no, right side of the highway, heading south. And coming off immediately by the dash end, uh, taking the left there to go on the. I think that's the other highway. That's... Yes, it is. Yes, he's going east on the highway there. Ahead of green. Just coming out there, green. Like green. Only right. Just went over the jump here. Um, so that's um, south, just southwest of Mirror Park. But not in Mirror Park. The road next to it. So coming west across the bridge, south of the casino bridge. Oh, I just left there. Uh, past yep, the dash and, uh, heading south uh, into the wall. Uh, 
So he's sl gone slightly south, but not very far yet. Um, heading south from there. Uh, going onto the highway, heading west. Hello, fellow purple car. Uh, which highway? The main one? The main one? Or on the highway, we passed the East West, uh, heading globe. west. Daily Globe, you just said west side. Uh, art gallery now, the building with the banners. Wrong side of the highway. You guys are losing me because you're faster. We're at the under, uh, underneath what they call the car park. He's underneath what they call the car park in the tunnel. Wrong side of the road, towards beach. Right side of the road. He's out of the tunnel. There's He's a wall there. Upside down. He's going right Sorry. towards the pier. He's going to go drive on the on the on ramp underneath the pier. Wrong side of the road. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oops, Unintentional pit. There's yes, green car right in front of you. He's heading down the pedestrian zone. I've got him pinned. Not anymore. I had him. I push him too much. He's reversing out of it, southbound. He's going northbound next to him. And I'm stuck here. I'm gonna force him southbound, so I'm gonna shoot him. Are you still in the pedestrian area? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, uh, going he's south. He's uh, right. turning west he's to, to, uh, to, yeah, to pier. pier road. Up uh, north. Northbound. At pier now. He's turned right yeah. towards Astro. Uh, towards the movie parks. What they call the car park now. Eastbound. Going through movie shows. Oh, he's not in no, the left. North. Clockwise uh, round movie shows. Yes. yes. I think we're all of them. Uh, turned north. And east again. Uh, he's hit a tree. Right. That's it, everyone else. Let's hit up this somewhere. Life Invader, top of Life Invader. Is that golf course west side? Going north? Uh, yes, going north to the checkpoint. Oh, he of course forgot the checkpoint. <laughs> no, no, he won't take it. No, he, he went in a chase now. Wait, how would he not take it? He's no, no, he is. Whoa! Oh, that's great. To take it. <laughs> uh, going around uh, golf course. Is Richmond's Hotel? North side of the course eastbound. Towards um, Clips Towers. He's turning Going north. Before that. Yep, up in the hills. Going towards Clips again. Right. Turning east. So. Oh, my yeah, legs, sorry. He's behind the Clips going up in the hills. Eastbound. Oh, that was the same car as it That just pulled out. Driveways. I didn't see where he went. I'm turning left and right. Oh, there's a lot of blue cars here on oh, Vinewood Boulevard. I think he's south of uh, golf course. I'm out to the west and there's no sign of blue cars here. It's uh, not him, it's not him. It at least. Oh, this car did not beep at me. At the, l at the low car parks, I think you call it. South of golf course. Blue, blue car oracle. Yeah, it's him. Nice. Nice one. So it didn't move. Usually, when you drive against an NPC, it like swerves out of the way or it beeps, but it did. 
Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence is surrounded by offensively pink cars. We are playing Manhunt Checkpoint today and we are playing once again in the um didn't mean to do that because now I've damaged my car. Oh well. And we are playing in the horrific colours mode where um every where each um Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted by seeing a seeing a hunter. Where e where any car that spawns in will appear in the co in the colour of the nearest player. So there are lots of pink cars around me. There are green cars coming down from over there because that's where Mark is. And everyone else will be surrounded. And they'll be in a little bubble of their own coloured cars. So my objective is to try and take all of the checkpoints around the around the map uh, without getting killed by the hunters. The hunters' objective is to kill me. And uh, if they kill me, they win the game. There's a dark green one as well. That means Pete's around somewhere. Um, they don't have any indication of where I am. Um, on their, on their maps for this particular mode. All they have is the knowledge that all of the horrendously pink cars must have spawned in near me. Look at those police cars, my goodness. <laughs> if the, so if they see horrendous horrendous pink cars, they know that they've spawned in somewhere near me, and so therefore I must be in the vicinity. <clears throat> in theory, they could look at the direction the pink cars are coming from, and they could sort of follow, follow back along, along the trail of them, and at some point along that trail they might find me. Um, it's a little bit random though because if I, if cars spawn in they won't then change colour to somebody else's colour um, if just because somebody else is, is nearer. So a pink car that is... so for example if there was a green car sat at these lights as well it would just sit there being green the whole time because there would be, there, it wouldn't change colour. Or well, that, that parked car there, Mark might have gone miles away but those cars will stay, stay, those cars will stay there being lime green for forever as long as there is a player near near enough by to stop them despawning <clears throat> so it's a bit of an it gives some clues it gives you it gives them some ideas as to where i might be but it's not a sort of a really really obvious indicator uh, they still have to sort of investigate cars try and guess what sort of cars i might be driving and i'm driving an oracle as always so that shouldn't be too difficult for them um, and so on so just to try and work out where i am and try and find me Oop, there's a green light let's go But I can also keep an eye on the cars around me as well. And if I see lots and lots of pink cars, as I am at the moment. Oh, that was a purple one, actually. I shouldn't have gone. I was going to say, I can feel relatively comfortable about running red lights if all I can see around me is pink cars, because it means there probably, probably aren't any hunters nearby. Now, on the flip side from that, hunters can move, hunters tend to move a lot quicker than AI cars do. So, they are like. Um, I was saying, hunters move a lot faster, just one rams into the back of me at high speed. So, um, yeah, there, there's a reasonable chance of them just sort of popping up, even when I'm, um, um, of them popping up like that, uh, and getting there before any of the, uh, of the cars of their colour do. I think he's watching me. I'm pretty sure he's watching me, that's why he's got out, I'm going away. Right, okay, that should get me away from him at least a little bit, because, um, Let's change it to a green car. That's a good idea. Now I can pretend that I'm... Uh, the problem is I have to break the window on this one, but... Go past, go past, go past. Yes, he's gone past. Excellent. Um, there's quite a lot of hunters around here, up, 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 worryingly. Um, okay, the green car's coming from, from that way. So if I go this way, there's a reasonable chance... Yes, green car's coming from there. So if I go this way, I might blend in with them a little bit. There's a purple car there as well. I think that's purple. It's a little bit tricky to tell the difference between pink and purple in this light, which is um, unfortunate because the reason we chose the uh, pink for the um, the pink for the prey, uh, other than the, other than the alliteration, is because it seemed like a good one a good one to make them nice and obvious and easy to um, easy to spot. Uh, but this is not quite ideal. Uh, I am in a queue of miscellaneous coloured cars. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I kind of want Mark to come back. I want because I'm in a car of his colour, so I want him to be nearby. So that I blend in with all the other cars that are around. Because if I'm the only green car, it's gonna look a bit weird. The fact there's a purple one and a pink one in front of me is probably going to help a little bit. Oh there's there's some green green headlights over there. Okay, good. I don't know. 
the thing is from this distance i can't tell whether that's green whether that's peat green or mark green i think actually i can see some other uh, lime green cars parked on the central reservation and in the parking space and coming over this way so right i think i am in the right colored car for this sort of area so fingers crossed if i just follow along here i shouldn't stick out and hopefully they won't get too suspicious of this car now this I'll, the thing is, it's, 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 it's a bit weird because it's going to feel weird, strange to me, and I'm going to feel really out of place um, when I'm driving around in a car of somebody else's colour because I will be surrounded by cars of my own colour. However, um, they're going to be seeing lots of cars of their colour around, so hopefully I'll fit in with them reasonably well. I'm getting followed now, that's a worry. I think they're investigating that pink car in front of me because it's pink. And possibly not investigating this one because it's green? I don't know. Let's wait and see. I'm worried by this. I don't like it when they're all around like this. It's just a sort of a, a worry, as I say. They're completely surrounded. I'm, I'm, I'm boxed in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Grump, grump, grump. I, yeah, that, that was a very good job of boxing me in, to be honest. I'm impressed. Got him, northwest corner of square of squares. Um, you know, white guy with a brown and white t-shirt. North side? Northwest There's a corner. Lot on the north side. North I'm west. at the northwest corner now, where are you? Uh, way behind me. Uh, the one uh, heading north now. Heading north now. From the northwest corner. Under the tunnel? Yeah, uh, I saw him go up that way, but then didn't see where he went because I was I just got out of my car. Are you confident on the carrot model you saw? Uh, yeah, um, whitish guy. Uh, slightly darker than white, but... Um, uh, Pete, the pink SUV here. Could he be in an SUV though? Could be. That's a different character model. Uh, it was a white t-shirt with brown sleeves. Like the guy behind in the light green. This, this one. one here? Or no, the no. Oracle? The Oracle, yeah. There you go. Just like that. I'm impressed how well you boxed me in at the end there. As <laughs> someone called out the car in front of you, so I came and blocked that one a bit and said, "No, that's a different character model," and described you again and said, "Oh, like the one, one behind, behind it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Had you had you seen me in that run then, or is it I'd forgotten to change character models? I couldn't remember. I was in happened. that run, uh, Square of Squares, when you were playing Dad. Oh yes, yes you did. And there was me being really sneaky and using a Mark Green car.